Let's fix that DJI Nero footage. Two ways, bonus tip at the end, let's hop right into it. I've got three clips here. One, two, and three, and they are all too much contrast, too much saturation, and too sharp. They look like some old foam footage from 10 years ago that was 4K, and that's pretty much what we're dealing with, a half inch sensor with 8-bit. But we can fix that. First, we'll do the quick and dirty method. I'm gonna start with contrast. All this can be done in the free version of DaVinci. Dial it down to about 0.9, and we're gonna take our saturation, bring it down to about 42 and take our medium detail and drop it down to about negative 20. And already you can see that that looks a lot better, a lot more natural. Now we're gonna do a second way. Well, first let's take a look at these, applying that to these first two clips. So here's the first clip. After the fix, for the fix, second clip after the fix before the fix and you can see that things just look a lot softer and more natural but let's reset those and the second way is going to let you dial it in a little more we're going to hit alt s three times for a total of four nodes let's hop over to that first node and for our contrast control i want to do a reverse s curve can see we've decreased the contrast but we have a lot more control just by playing with it with exactly where we're controlling the contrast at hop over to the second node and we're going to do our saturation and you could do this in the color slice or the color warper a lot of people are saying this profile on the neo leans towards the cool side but you can see if we just warm it up the skin tones look unnatural I think it's more, it's just oversaturated in certain areas like a landscape profile or something like that. So what I am finding works is to take down the yellow, take down the green, and take down the blue. And get our skin tones in there where we want them. Just a little bit of tweaking. And that to me, there's the before and after looks a lot more natural already. Now in the third tab, we're gonna come over here to our sharpen blur, take our radius and go to 0.53. Here it is on, here it is off. So we've softened up that sharpness quite a bit and we are looking a lot better. I mean, here's our before, here's our after, we actually have some decent looking footage now and we reserve this fourth tab for doing various color grades i mean we can take the contrast back up drop our saturation for kind of a bleach bypass look these are real quick and dirty just giving you guys an idea what you can do let's do a quick film look do a hot day look like I said real quick and dirty here but we actually have something that we can work with now looks a lot better than it did before and that's it quick and easy the last thing I would do is add another node and this is if you're not using any ND filters or anything I'd come over here to the motion effects motion blur better medium 40 and that's going to help the footage look a little less jaggedy let's go ahead and apply all this to the other two clips apply grade and we can see they look a lot better uh -huh. 